Okay, my little ham hams are going to be playing some Mechabellum. Mechabellum, 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 yeah, boys. So, I've been getting pretty good at this game. I actually get a little bit frustrated because I realized there's actually more complexity and nuance that I was kind of ignoring <clears throat> for the longest time because I didn't know. I think I, think I ran out of ice. <laughs> it's still a little cold. But, um, yeah, there's, uh, <clears throat> Some upgrades that I now use Elite, Fortified, Rhino, Sabertooth, Aldis 2, Fortified, what is that? Increases the HP of all units. Um, well, I guess I'll take a Sabertooth. Recruit rank 2 units. Mainly recruit rank 2 units. Okay, whatever. I'll recruit rank 2 units. Um, what the hell is this? Okay, I don't like these tarantulas, but I can, basically what, what some of the strategies I've learned are kind of interesting. I don't know if upgrading um, the attack power and everything at the start is that smart, but um, the hell, I still have 100 points. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot I got additional credits or something at the start. <clears throat> so, um, I forgot what they're called, but... Uh, I, I used to spam melting points, and before that I was spamming like these battleships and crap. But melting points are actually not that good in a lot of situations, because there's these other artillery units. Um, they're the uh, Scorpion with Siege Mode. I, I was kind of scoffing at that for the longest time. But then I realized they do a crap ton of damage to melting points from a distance. And you can enhance the range with like um, the uh, um, over here on this pillar, this command center. You can increase the range even more for a hundred points every round. So if you have a lot of artillery units that uh, kill everything from a distance, you can increase the range every round even more for a hundred credits. This guy took a long time to. He's got these stupid uh, steel balls, which are. Kind of like melting points. Steel bar balls are like little miniature melting points. They attack, and the longer they attack, the more damage they do. So, yeah, this guy's got a big advantage on me right now, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I need to build something to... I think my first reaction is to uh, get some air units. So I can immediately obtain one squad of marksmen. Um, Mustangs. I think the phantoms are the clear smart thing to get right now and I'll get a second pair of these and he probably will not have any anti-air this round he probably doesn't know you know that I'm doing this <laughs> but uh, I will upgrade them and then also I wanted to start working on these uh, scorpions so let's go ahead and see he's probably pretty oh shit he's got some marksmen okay I'm gonna upgrade these with the stealth cloak but they're gonna get sniped they're they're I should have pulled them back further they're gonna uh, I didn't think he was gonna okay good uh, for whatever reason the marksman didn't shoot at them first kind of stupid so maybe I can okay those steel balls are going down okay there we go and then I'm gonna get the tower so yeah we're doing pretty good okay now that that was a lot better than a, what I thought it was gonna be <laughs> thought they were gonna get sniped immediately okay <clears throat> haste um, uh, so yeah I love these uh, enhancers put one of these on this bad boy immediately um, and then again uh, I wanted to increase I have to do an extra on the the uh, so I'm gonna turn this into a siege unit. And again I haven't upgraded the phantoms. I didn't need to last round, but I feel like I'm going to need to. But yeah, you definitely want to get a lot of fodder units. Okay. Uh, I, again I should have put the phantoms a little bit farther back, but once I get the stealth cloak, it should be a little bit better, but no, I think they're gonna get shot down this round. Nope. Okay. Okay, he's got a lot of little units. That's not good. 
Okay, I'm not doing too good this round. Um, he's got artillery units this round. That's fine. Um, I think I get a saber tooth or something eventually, or something. I don't know. Deployment mono mass produced. Fans increase the movement speed of all units by three. Steel ball production. Okay, I don't want any of that. So I get a lot of credits. I can turn it into siege mode. And I can increase the range and double all this crap. Uh, so these are rank uh, two units now. So they cost more. That's not good. Um, can I? Okay, there we go. So we're gonna have two siege units again. They they need um, a lot of enhancements. Um, but I'm just gonna get a lot of see see. But but I think I need some more small units. I'm probably gonna get some more small units as uh, fodder. Um, because I need them to. <clears throat> Distract my units so my artillery can keep shooting. I see my artillery. Hey boy. Okay. So he's got a lot of little units, and that's what my concern is. I need to keep them back so my artillery can keep doing damage. Why the hell is this thing not- oh, this one's not in siege mode, it, it got disabled by whatever. So we can see there's- their versus artillery, they're doing pretty good. <laughs> okay, so see, I only have two of these and they really held their own. They do a surprisingly effective amount of damage considering how slow they are. Decreases range by 15, I don't want none of that. Um, Only able to immediately recruit rank three wasp. Sure. But again, I was thinking I need to probably hmm, should I upgrade them to a double shot or should I get some rank three wasps? Double shot. The double shot reduces their reload time though, but. Whatever. I probably didn't... Okay, that's what I want. I wanted him to start getting melting points. I'll probably get some... Again, the, the, the high-ranking units. Okay. Yeah, I, there's a lot of things I need. I need... I need a lot of things, to be honest. I'm a little concerned. Okay, I didn't win this one. Again, there's a lot of things I wanted to get, to be honest. I need more fodder units. I need a bunch of things. Nearly tame two squads of rank one overlords. Uh, okay, put this, this bad boy up front. Um, Uh, put these bad boys in the back, and I can increase the range even more. <laughs> okay. There's so many things I want to get, but it's, it's expensive. Like, I want to increase the range by two, I mean the attack by 200% on these wasps. Um, you know. A lot of things I want to do. He's got a lot of units. He's got a lot of artillery. You know, no. 
if I, I don't have anything that can shoot down artillery shells. But my unit should have a longer range than his artillery. I just need to get more artillery. I should have probably bought more of these scorpions, to be honest. Uh, okay, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boy. He's got those overlords. I need to be able to shoot down air units too. Goddamn. Okay. Yeah, boy. This ain't good. But there, there's a little glimpse of, you know, the damage you can do to the, these. Like if you... Okay, he had a lot more units than me, so we're gonna have to... Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to recover from this. Super supply, laser sights, increase the range by it. Oh, boy. Um... Um, I don't think I'm going to survive this. Um, can I sneak these in the back? I think I can. Oh, he's got a landmine over there. Landmine over there. He's got too much variety in units. The anti the air units alone can kill me if I don't have any anti-air by the time they're all that's left. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know how I'm gonna ever survive this. Yeah, he's got a air units still and I don't have any anti-air. I'm going to kill air units without any anti-air. But I wanted to demonstrate just how good these uh, things actually are versus melting points. And we can see they're actually pretty good versus melting points, but you know, I can't shoot his air unit and that I've, I'm so close to death. I've got like 15 points. So there's nothing I can do right here. But I, I got close to recovering, but boom. I got close to catching up with him on that round, but, um, I mean, I think I did pretty good considering the amount of air units he had, and I didn't have any anti-air besides some wasps. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys later.